for these centralized electricity markets. Okay. Um, I, I'd said that there were that starting in the 1990s, there were uh, two uh, competing models for setting up electricity markets, right? One in California, right, and one in these PJM states. Um, and so the what what California did was it tried most directly to replicate a financial exchange, right, like the New York Stock Exchange, for buying and selling electricity. And so it opened what was called the California Power Exchange. Okay? And so um, California's biggest utilities, right, they all, they all agreed to go along with this, and they agreed to buy all of their power from the power exchange. Okay? So how the power exchange worked was this. Um, first, uh, individual generators decided whether or not they wanted to offer their supplies into the power exchange. Okay, so this is called uh, decentralized unit commitment. Okay, so um, it was up to the generators whether or not they, they wanted to make their capacity available to the exchange. Okay, um, the bids from the generators, there, there, was, there, there was an overall cap so a maximum amount that the generators could bid, but beyond that, the generators could more or less do whatever they wanted, right? They could submit whatever type of supply offer they wanted to, okay? And then, just as generators had to submit supply offers, the three utilities in the, the, the three large California utilities, they also had to submit uh, demand bids. Okay, so um, the and so the idea was that uh, you would have so many suppliers rushing into this market to serve so much electricity demand um, that uh, th this that there would be this sort of vigorous competition that that would ensue, sort of like in an auction. Okay, so how the 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 way that the power exchange market worked was every hour suppliers would submit supply offers which is the blue curve here okay and the supply offer indicated how much generating capacity the supplier was willing to make available to the power exchange at what price okay so when you put all of these together, you got uh, what we would call a supply curve or an offer curve. Okay. And that's in the blue. Um, on the demand side, the utilities had to submit the amount of electricity that they were willing to buy from the exchange at some price. Okay. And so that's the pink curve. right over here okay, and when these when these purchase offers were aggregated together you got kind of a California system demand curve okay, and where the supply and demand curve met determined the price and quantity at which the electricity market would clear okay so um, in this example right and um, and this is this is a this is a picture from the late 1990s. Um, so in, in this example, the point where supply equals demand, okay, uh, the market cleared for this particular hour at about 32,500 megawatts of, of generation capacity would be utilized right, to serve 32,500 megawatt hours of, of energy demand, and the market clearing price would be $190 per megawatt hour. Okay. So this was repeated every single hour of every single day. Okay. And um, in the event that there wasn't enough electricity purchased in, through the power exchange to serve all of California's electricity demand, there was this. There was uh, sort of a. There was a, a secondary or balancing market 
that would that would ultimately equate demand and supply, right? On a on a short on a sub hourly basis. Right? So th this was basically how the power exchange mark model worked, right? and um, the the power exchange the California power exchange lasted for a, uh, about two and a half years, and after the California power crisis, um, as part of California's sort of screeching halt to electricity deregulation, the power exchange was shut down. Okay, um, and uh, the um, and partially because of California's sort of dismal failure, um, the power exchange model has not really been replicated anywhere else except uh, Alberta up in Canada, where it's actually, they, they actually have had a power exchange type market for I think well over a decade, right? And it seemed, they seem to like it, um, but in California it didn't work so well.